I graduated from high school in 2000 and I came back to the farm and helped my dad. He raised quite a few cattle at the time and I met Elise in 2010. Yeah, roughly. <laughs> <laughs> and around 2011, she brought the idea to me of getting into custom feeding pigs. Because uh, I grew up with that. <laughs> so uh, about that time is when we were engaged, thinking of a family, and I guess to us it seemed that we needed to bring on livestock for uh, a just diversification on the farm. Um, so that way it also kind of was going to keep give one of us a job back on, at home. So I was still um, working for a co-op in the feed division and then uh, we put up one barn and then another one came the following year and that's when I quit that job to be on farm um, and help take care of the or the hog side of things and then about two years after that we built two more so we're currently at four uh, wean to finish 2400 head each she thought maybe one or two would be enough and yeah. I come to her and said we should put third and fourth one up and I think our jaw hit the floor <laughs> but what it's been good we really it enjoy has. it uh, bringing the kids up into it kind of showing them how, what a work ethic is, or trying to teach it to them, and we really enjoy it. Don't we, Aisha? Mm -hmm. The Neelands raised their three kids, Aisha, Will, and Ellie, on their 125-year-old century farm and try to instill their agricultural values in the children who will likely be the sixth generation to manage the farm. So our kids are in the barn a lot when we have baby pigs, especially. Um, at that point, you know, it's sparkling clean and you know how kids crawl around with their hands and put them in their mouth all the time. So we're a little bit um, more comfortable with them there than also. Um, but they love feeding the pigs on the mats. Um, they love just chasing them around. Every year they get a little bit more active and now with Ellie, um, she's two, but now, with her getting a little bit older, we're able to take everybody out. Um, they love helping get pigs in and shaking the rattle and I'll shut the gate. <laughs> so, gate doesn't always get shut all the way and we might have to recount some pigs, <laughs> but it's a learning process, so. Elise also takes the time to share her life raising both kids and pigs through her social media presence with pigs and kids on Facebook. I want my kids to be able to be here in 50 years or 100 years even. So I guess I want to be proactive in telling agriculture story and our story per se because somebody could drive down our road and say, oh, that's a factory farm. Well, no, it's not. It's family owned, family worked. We're the only two that work in it. So uh, we just want to be proactive for for ourselves, but also for our kids in the future. So I guess I'd rather tell my own story than somebody else tell it for me. <laughs>